What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to transfer drawings from a printed sheet of paper to your illustration paper. Now you may think that you might need graphite paper to do this but actually you don't and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to need for this video is a picture, any picture printed on regular computer printer paper. You're going to need your illustration paper. I'm using Strathmore Bristol paper. You're going to need a graphite pencil. I'm using the Statler brand 8B but you can also use any other form of dry media. You can also use colored pencils, charcoal, pastels, any kind of dry media that you're going to need. But for this video, I'm going to be using a graphite pencil. I'm going to be using double-sided tape and a ballpoint pen. So that's all you're going to need, but if you do plan on coloring this afterwards, you can use any kind of coloring materials. But we're not going to talk about that today because it's mainly about transferring a drawing from one sheet of paper to another. But with that being said, let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is flip this paper upside down so it's on its back side. And then I'm going to take my graphite pencil and just scribble this entire back side. Because I think this serves the same purpose of using graphite paper. I personally never use graphite paper but I feel it's the same purpose because you know I think the name of the paper really speaks for itself because it's paper filled with graphite which is what I'm doing to this back side. But it's not going to be completely filled with graphite. We're just going to scribble in the necessary areas. But I'm just going to do the entire thing in case I want to add some like uh, some, just some accessories to Clifford if I choose to. But like I'm probably not going to. But if you guys want to then you know by all means go ahead and do that. Okay now that that's scribbled I'm actually going to keep it on this back side for now. I'm just going to add another layer of graphite and this time I'm going to push a little harder just so I can get that dark enough. Because when I go back to this side and start tracing Clifford I want it to kind of show up on this paper. So that's why I want it to be as dark as possible which is why I chose the 8B in the first place because really one layer of it could have done the trick. But I'm just going to add a second layer just in case. All right, and you can do this again if you want with a third layer, but I'm not gonna do that. So we're done with our graphite pencil or any other dry media, whatever you're using. We're done with that for now. Now we're gonna flip it back on its other side. And now what I'm gonna do is use my double-sided tape. I'm gonna go back to this side and tape it down. Because when I start drawing Clifford, I don't want this paper to be moving around and then I end up making weird looking lines on here. So I want the tape to help um, keep this sheet of paper in place while I'm tracing it. I'm just going to put like four in the corner. Because this tape tends to be super strong and then if I take this sheet of paper off once I'm done, then it may just end up ripping the corners of the paper which I don't want it to do. So I'm just going to apply the bare minimum. And there we go. So I'm just going to pick a place on here and that looks good so I can just press each corner with tape on it like that and I also applied tape to the illustration paper as well so that that doesn't move either but now that that's done I can grab my ballpoint pen and start tracing and the reason I have my ballpoint pen is because I tend to push hard and apply a lot of pressure with my ballpoint pen so that way the graphite on the other side of this paper really presses onto the illustration paper. And because I have it at a low opacity I can easily see which lines I've already went through so that way I won't be tracing this same arm like three or four times. So it's best to have that at a low opacity. Okay, now that I'm done tracing, I can now lift this piece of printer paper off of my illustration paper and see if it transferred all the way. So I'm going to carefully do that. Cool. Well. And see, now look at that match. Matches perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is give Clifford my usual inks and color and then come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. And I'm going to do that in time lapse so that way I don't make the video super long. So let's go. Okay. 
All right, and there's what Clifford looks like after I gave him some inks, added some color, and finalized the drawing. And here's what the old piece of paper looks like, as if it matters. But yeah, that's what we used to trace this drawing onto here. And then I ended up coloring it using my usual illustration style. Um, more on that in my coloring and illustration strategies playlist, which will pop up right here in the card. But yeah, that's how you transfer drawings from one piece of paper to another. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.